Okay, good morning class. So at this point, uh, I'm sure you guys have completed chapter one. No, there's now the other grade eight class. Um, you have completed chapter one, which is counting and what was the first topic? Counting and all numbers, no? Or natural numbers and yeah, natural numbers and counting numbers. Have we done all of those questions in there, no? And you have um, answered the exercise. No? Is there anything in that exercise that you don't understand? That you want me to explain? Mm. Well, film is not in today. She's sick of uh, maths already. <laughs> okay, so then thereafter you guys went into the topic on introduction to algebra. Not so. So uh, you guys were explained slowly about what is algebra and where it comes from and who's the daddy and all of those things, no? Right. And you guys did this assignment here, this ex uh, the, the examples. Then you went into exercise one. Okay, did you do this exercise? Is there anything that you guys had problems with in exercise one on page 30? Anything that you didn't understand? Do you want me to clarify? Where's Ms. Lala? I know Ms. Lala also. Anything that you have a problem with here? 1.2. So in 1.2, the question says a number 5 times x. So say for instance x. Remember that x is a variable, which means to say x can vary, it can change. Okay. Later on, you'll speak about a, b, d, x, y, z, q, whatever. Whichever variable is assigned to, to something, to an expression, whatever. That variable can be any number. Okay. Now, say for argument's sake, that was that x in number one point two was five. Then, if you read it, then a num um, five, or a number five times five. Then, what would the answer have been? Twenty-five. If x was seven, then what would that answer then have been? A number five times seven. What's 5 times 7? 35. How do you get that? 5 multiplied by 7. Or 5 multiplied by 5. So, if the question says a number 5 times x, then it's going to be 5 multiplied by x. And what is 5 multiplied by x? 5x. Okay, later on when you see, see you've got 5 multiplied by x, it's going to be so what is 2 multiplied by y? 2y. What is x multiplied by y? X. Not oh, it's an x. <laughs> no? But you guys understand? Yes. Right. So that is why we have here 5 times x, which is 5x. What is um, z times 3? We always write the number in front. What is B times A? A, B, Y. So we write it in alphabetical order. It looks like an O, but it's actually A and A. No? What do you guys understand? Right. Anything else in the number one day that you want me to clarify? Because you guys have answered these, just check there. Which ones you got wrong that you want me to clarify? Yes? Okay, 1.4, then 1.6, okay.
1.4 a number 4 more than 2 times x so again if x was 3 if x was 3 then the sum would have read in 1.4 a number 4 more than 2 times x or 2 times 2 ok what did I say 2 or 3? 3 no? So if it reads a number 4 more than 2 times 3, what's 2 times 3? 6. six. Then you would have say 4 more. Okay. How do you get? Uh, what do we do if we want 4 more than something? We add it. Not so. So that answer would have been 4 plus 6, which is 10. So likewise, as we did then, We multiply 2 by the number. So it's going to be 2 times x. And what's 2 times x? 2x. Two two x. Okay, do you see that, people? Yes. 2 times a number. A number 4 more than. So I must add 4. You understand? And what is four? 2 times x? 2x. Two 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 yeah, I got 2x. Plus four. Now what is 2x plus 4 equal to? 6x. Six, six. Well, who says 6x? Six, six? You're wrong. Yes? 2x. 2x and 4x are unlike terms. So what can give us an example of unlike terms? So you've got two forks. Right? plus three spoons. Right? In a draw you've got two forks and three spoons. You take it out, you put it in the bag. You put it together. So it's two forks plus three spoons. What is in the bag? Two forks and three spoons. Why? Because they are different. Okay, they're all cutlery. But they are different in Understand? One is forks and one is one is forks. Likewise, if I have if I have two apples and three bananas, and we add another three apples in this bag, two apples, three bananas in the bag, and we add three apples to that bag. And in the bag we have. Five, Five apples and three bananas. So which mean to say in terms of this expression here, you're going to have five apples and three bananas. Why can't they be put together? Because they are different. different. They are what we call unlike difference. Understand? Unlike different. So when we are adding terms, the terms has to be like to be added. So you're coming back to this question here, you're saying that it's going to be 6x. You have two apples and four bananas. What is two apples plus four bananas? Two apples and four bananas. So why can't I add them? Because they are unlike them. You guys understand? Yes, sir. Right. The, the question was for 1.6. In 1.6, x increased by 3. So if you, if you take x to be a number, let's say it's 2. What's 2 plus 3? 5. five. The answer multiplied by 5. Is going to give an answer? 20. Okay. So if you've got a number, if you've got x increased by 3, so what do I write here? x plus 3. The answer multiplied by 5. So what do I do? Times 5. You all agree with that? No? Now, what did we say x was earlier on? 2. So if I use 2 here, you say, okay. 
is used to here. So that is going to be x plus 3 times 5. What was the answer earlier on? 25. Not so? So this is going to be 2 plus 3 times 5. According to Bodmas, what must be done first? So 2 plus 15, which is 17. So is this right? No. Read the question again. X increased by 3. The answer, the answer of X plus 3 must be multiplied by 5. So which means to say, this must go in a bracket. Why? Because according to board mass, what is in the bracket must be done first. Make sense? So if we put the bracket there, then we would add 2 and 3 first. Not so? And what is 2 plus 3? 5. And 5 times 5 is? 25. So in other words, here must come a bracket. Make sense? Is it on 1.7? Sorry? Yes. Was 1.7 fine? 1.7. Any problems number two? Okay, so we're going to do a few of these, okay? And this is where that girl that was complaining, so when we started, will come into play. She will give us an answer first. Okay? And then we'll take our answer. Okay? What? Yes, sir. Okay, no? Right. 1.7. 5 times the square of x. 5 times the square of x. So what is time? What do we do for times? Multiply. So that will be simply 5 multiplied by the square of x. So it's going to be x squared. And what is 5 times x squared? You guys understand? Yes. Who doesn't understand? What don't you understand? Again? So 5 times the square of x. Say this was at 2. And that would have some be simply 5 times 2 squared. You see that? It's the region. 5 times the square of 2. So it's 5 times 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. 5 times 4 is 3. But we don't have a 2. We have an x. Okay. So this is simply 5 times x squared. And what's 5 times x squared? Okay. You guys understand? Right. So let's go to number number two. So you see, you didn't do it from number two onwards, no? Now you guys answer number two in your book. Okay? I'll give you a chance, I'll give you a minute, and then we'll do it on the book. Okay? You can see how far we'll for you, and then we'll discuss where you're going wrong as well. Okay?
guys finish? Yes, okay. What do you have as an answer, Michael? Sorry? Does it work a bit faster? So try straight on the board. Danny thinks of a number and calls it X. He doubles a number and then subtracts 3 from it. What is the answer? What do you think we should be doing? Do you have a chance? Or were you also complaining when you came in? Yeah, so give her a chance. Yes? Multiply. Well, you see you multiply. Something you multiply. Absolutely. The x will multiply by what? Somebody's alarm is going. Just put it up. Who's is it? This one. Just put it up. It's supposed to be getting up now. <laughs> The so phone call. Is it, sir, so is it x multiplied by x squared? No. Nope. Anybody else? Yes, go for it, Michael. x squared minus 3. Who, who agrees with that? I, I didn't say that. You, you just said that. So I said that it was double, I just said the square root. Okay, it's fine. It's wrong. Right. Anybody else? We've got something different. X multiplied by X is X squared. You're absolutely correct. But read the question. It says, Danny thinks of a number and calls it X. Then it's, you see, if, if you don't know what to do, what you do is you substitute it with a number. Let's make sense of what's happening. Because my variables are new to us. So we say, okay, let X be, let's use a number that is not in the sum. Double, it's 2, 3, let's make this a 5. Okay. So the sum now reads, the sum now reads, Danny thinks of a number and, and calls it 5. So he's thinking on the number is 5. He doubles the number. If he doubles the number, what happens? Is it x times, is it 5 times 5? Yeah. 5 times 5 is 25. Is 25 double 5? No. It's 5 times 2. It's 5 times 2. The number. He doubles the number and then subtract 3 from it. Whatever follows from goes first. So it is 5 times 2. What does subtract? What operation is subtract? Minus. So 5 times 2 is? 10 minus 3 which is? 7. But is it 5? Is the number 5? No. What is the number? x. So we say it's going to be 5 no not 5 sorry x x times 2 minus 3 so what is x times 2? 2 2x minus 3 can I subtract the 2x and 3? Why not? Isn't that minus 1x? 2 minus 3 1, 2, 3. Isn't that minus 1? Yes. Who agrees with that? You're wrong. Why is that wrong? Who can tell them why is that wrong? They are? I'm like terms. So, it is simply 2x minus 3. You understand? Yes, sir. If they are unlike terms, we cannot put them together. We cannot add or subtract them. Okay? Then let's look at number number three. Let's do number three. Okay, the, 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 the other class, the class I teach, they were a bit confused with this one. So let's see. Maybe you guys will get this one right. Number three. Gonna pause the video if you can. Right, number three. Yes, Michael, talk to me. I didn't understand it, so. Good, try. Try. 
When you came in class, you were complaining. So I thought maybe you're the top math student. No. No. Because you know you you you're doing like a lot of math all the time. You don't want to do any more math. You understand? Okay, it's like that. Only you. You're the top math learner. So how many um how much time you spend on math today? No, I, my, my thing was, I was saying, telling you, if you are doing maths all the time, then you feel like you don't want to do maths. So I asked, who of you feel like? So you put up your hand. So you're doing maths all the time. You do a lot of maths. But I never understand it, so. <laughs> <laughs> You go to the extra class in the afternoon. Yes, Let's go more often. No? Let's go three days a week. Do you go three days a week? Yes, sir. Still, you don't understand? No, sir. It's something else. Let's go to Miss uh, Adamus, Dixon. Yeah, you go down, you go down, you go down, you go down, you walk down, all the way, you go into a class. She was a good class, isn't it? So I give to the grade 11 and 12, and they give to the Okay, the make you Alright, on a Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, we go all three days from five, from three to four. Yes. Which one? Which one? The one you meant, Okay. So you were telling me the answer. Fish in the bowl, yes? In a bowl, how many fish are in Kaiwa? Kaiwa? Oh, I don't understand. You don't understand? Okay. What did I say if you don't understand? Replace it with? Numbers. So let's make P give a number? 10. 10. And bowls? 5. So read the question now. There are 10 fish in a bowl. How many fish are there in two bowls? Twenty. So, okay. So how, how do we get 20? 10 times 2. If there are if there are five fish in six bowls, that would be 30. Five times six is 30. So if there are P fish in K bowls, P times K equals P K. You got that right? Nice, nice. You got K times P? Is K P the P K K P is the same. Right in alphabetical order. Nice. Nice. All right. So the answer is P K. And I'll ask you to do number four as well. That answer is PK. How much will you pay for K cassettes at 3 A rands per cassette? Now, for those of you who don't know what the cassette is, the Andrew cassette. I don't know if you guys have seen something like this. Yes, this is not a thing that you put your eyes through. No? You don't look through there. This is actually a what they call it, a CD. You guys know what the CD is? Yes. Where have seen a CD in their lives? A CD. <laughs> now, this, you don't get CDs anymore. People don't start sell CDs anymore. No? Unless you buy a, a, a game or something. No? So when they're not going to sell games in the like no? So we'll give the, 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 the item before a CD. Is a cassette. Okay, now this thing, yeah? What happens is you put your favorite artist on there and you record from the radio. Play in the radio and you press record. And you record on this thing. Alright, and you can turn some. It was a full minute. No? So, uh, that is your cassette. Okay, but with time it was evolved now. Okay, it becomes better. 
and we're at this point where you don't even use CDs there. No? Everything is on your phone or downloaded onto your hard drive or whatever. Okay. That, that was a storage thing back then. Okay. So um, that's your cassette. So we are told that how much will you pay for K cassettes at 3 A rands per cassette? Who has an answer yet? We first ask you, yes. So what is the answer? Um, is okay, yes? Anybody else? Yes? Who got K times 3A? It's correct. K times 3A. Okay, so let's see how much will you pay for K cassettes? K times 3A. And what's three, uh, K times 3A? 3? 3K or 3K8. You want to agree with that? Yes, sir. Any confusion? No. 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 Right. Let's look at number 5. Philip swims 4 times per day. Okay. Philip swims 4 times per day. Philip swims four times per day. So how many times does he swim in three days? Twelve. Twelve. How many times does he swim in five days? Twenty. Four times five? Twenty. If he swims ten days? Four times ten is now you will give me the answer, not yet, give me the answer, but writing in your books, how many times does he swim in P days, number one, and 5.2, how many times does he swim in a week? Right, write those two answers down, okay, we will discuss now your solution. Okay, yes, Michael, talk to me. I said, by five, 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 four, multiply by three, seven. Nice. You see, they're becoming a little bit. Are you going to come again in my class and say, I don't want to do me? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what do you say? You're going to tell me again you don't want to do me? Uh, no, sir. I hope not. Otherwise, I'm going to tell you again. Next time you come to the front. No, sir. I'm fine uh, here. Okay, no. Maybe we have learned to listen. Okay. Right, any confusion here? Yes, my girl. <laughs> okay. 5.2, 4 times 7. Who got 4 times 7? Put up your hand. 4 times 7. Right, what do you have? Are you answer? Put up your hand if you got 4 times 7. Um, what do you have? 4 times 7. Who got 4 times 7? But this is an A. Yeah, it says how many times does it swim in A weeks? It's not the O, it's an A. Okay, listen, listen. Listen. If this was Z weeks, this this bit is it. How many times does it swim in Z weeks? You understand it? Four times. I think the confusion was you thought it was a week. 
Yes, but you're reading wrong. How do you get eight weeks? <laughs> now, if it was eight weeks, then it would have made sense. But it's in eight weeks. So it's four times seven times eight, which is? 28. 28. You still on here? Yes. Yes. Oh. Well, now let's see what's going on with you. Right. Nikatos. Number six. Number six. Is your Natalie in this class? No. Yes. Whose name is closest to Natalie? Huh? In this class, whose name is closest to Natalie? So we can ask that person to do the sum for us. <laughs> All right. Try for me uh, question 6. Okay, there are, there are four questions in 6, 6.124. I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to give you five minutes to do that quickly. We'll get back. Okay, at this point you indicated that you are finished. Natalie is now three years old. Her father is three times as old as she. So if Natalie is two, no, if Natalie is twenty, how old is the father? Was three times a day. And at least twelve. The father is. Six. Six. And at least five. Fifteen. And at least one. Three. Okay, but of course that's not going to make sense, no? So we are told Natalie is now three years old. Her father is three times as old as she. Okay, square root. When I use the number 1, the number 5, the number 12, and the number 20, did you use the square root? No. So why want you use square root here? What's wrong with you? So, Natalie is now K years old. So how did we get to, to the father's age? Doesn't multiply whatever Natalie is by 3. Not so. So how old is the father now? 3K. Who says 3K? What do you have, Michael? You, yes. Yes? Sorry? Why didn't you write the answer? It's confusing. So you're not writing the answers at all. So you see, no, that the problem is with maths. Is that you need to practice, you need the experience. You need to do the sum to appreciate the answer. So if you just watch somebody do the math, it's easy. No? But when you do it yourself, it's a different bargain. So it's very important to attempt the sum, even if you get it wrong. In that process, you will learn where you went wrong. But if you're not even going to attempt it, then how are you going to learn? How are you going to learn? So in future, Michael, please do the work. Okay? And tell me again that I didn't do it. So I gave you now five minutes. And what do we do in five minutes? You're waiting for the answer. No. What do we do in five minutes? I was working out the sum. You what? Working out the sum. Working out the sum. So then what do you have worked out so far in, after five minutes for 6.1? So I said 3 times 4. 3K? Times 4. Times 4. For 6.1? I'm still on 6.1. So what's your answer to 6.1? Sorry? Okay. Who wrote 3K? What did you get, Michael, Lala? Um, uh, I get 
Square root. Cube root. Three times something. Okay. If I tell you three times five. What's three times five? Fifty. How do you get fifteen? Three multiplied by five. So if I tell you three times seven, it's going to be three twenty-one years, which is three. Multiplied by 7. Not so. So, if it's K, it's simply going to be, if Natalie is now K years old, then the father will be 3 times K. You understand? It says nothing about cube or cube root there. You understand? Simply be k times three. K times three, which is three k. Okay. How old will she be in four years' time? Four times four. K times four. Who got k times four? Okay. Is it on? Okay, it's the same. Relax. Relax. If Natalie is now five years old, how old will she be in four years' time? Nine. If Natalie is 20 years old, how old will she be in four years' time? Which is? 24. So if Natalie is k years old, how old will she be in four years' time? K? Alright, you understand? Let's look at the next one. So now your answer to 6.3 is wrong. Okay. So now you must think about this. Don't, don't tell my theory of time. Huh? 6.3. How old will the father be in four years' time? Yes. Who says 3k plus 4? What do you say, my God? Okay. If, if the father is now 3k, how old will he be in four years' time? So what did we do with an athlete? We just add four. Not so. So what must we do with the father? Add four. It's simple. We add four. So it's going to be 3k plus four. You wouldn't take a note. They're unlike. They like to be unlike. Okay. The variables has to be the same. If there was 3k plus 4k, that would have been 7k. However, 3k plus 4k and 3k plus 4, they are unlike. So I can't. Have you guys understand? 6.4 What will the combined ages be in M yesterday? So the band is going to read in 3 minutes time I want to show you something before you leave So I'm going to go straight into 6.4 So if they say the combined What are you going to do? What operation do we do for combined? You add So I must add Natalie's age And I must add the father's age Not so? Right So Natalie is in. 
how old will Natalie be in M years time? K plus who, who agrees with me there? What do you say, um, uh, Lala? But remember, I told you that's not going to be wrong. Remember, Natalie is now K years old. So how old will she be in M years time? What did you we say? In four years time, how old will Natalie be in four years time? K plus? Four. How old will Natalie be in seven years time? K plus? Seven. How old will Natalie be in 20 years time? K plus 20. How old will Natalie be in M years time? K plus eight. You understand? The father. Let's go. The father is 3K three, three currently. How old will the father be in 1 year's time? 3K plus 1. How old will the father be in 12 years time? 3K plus 12. How old will the father be in 20 years time? 3K plus 2. How old will the father be in 50 years time? 3K plus 2. How old will the father be in M years time? 3K plus 2. Simple. So when we say the combined ages, I put in a bag K plus M plus 3K plus, plus M. That will give me an answer of what? You put, if K represents knives, you put one knife plus three knives. How many knives are those? Four. Four. So that means to say K plus 3k is going to give you 4k you understand it's 4k and you put an m and another m what is m plus m if you put one mango in a bag and another mango in a bag two mangoes no? So plus? Okay. People, you guys must practice a lot, no? Very important. You guys can uh, just take out your, 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 your cell phones quickly and I'll show you something. Maybe this way will give you a better understanding of what's happening, okay? Go to YouTube. You know how to go on YouTube on your phones? Yes. You're all on YouTube. Huh? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, go quickly. Are you guys on YouTube? Yes. Right. You go to search. You type M O G A M A T Space N A B What do you see there? Muhammad Nabil body. You click on that. You see that day? That's me. They would send subscribe. Click on subscribe. Right? You all got that? All right. Now you click on the on the link on the um, what's his name? No? You will see something like this come up now. Correct? You see on top is a playlist. You will see that. You click there. 
Okay? You are in grade 8, so you look for the grade 8 playlist. So you go, 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 go. And grade 8, there's grade 8 pass papers. There's grade 8 paper 1. There's grade 9 paper 1. There's grade 8 paper 2. You see that? The lesson that I've done today with you guys will be loaded into grade 8 paper 1. You click there. This lesson is not up yet, okay? If you go here, you'll see the all my lessons for the year thus far is online. Okay, can you see that? You, you did prep for high school. You did um, natural um, whole numbers, you did factors, you, all of those things. All of that is here. You go right at the bottom. You see there's introduction to algebra lesson 2. That's what my class. I will call this lesson of today. Um, grade 8, Introduction to Algebra with 8B. Okay? If you want to watch the lesson again later, you can just click on there, and then you can watch it again. If you don't have Wi-Fi at home, no problem, you download it at school. You know how to download Musna? You go here somewhere. Somewhere here, and you download it on your phone. No? You go home, and you can watch it again. People enjoy this every day. Good morning, class.